Welcome or welcome back to the vlog. My name is Emma if you're new here and I like to post fitness, food, and just general lifestyle content. I'm very much in my cooking era right now because I am doing the Whole30 diet and I have been doing it for a little over a month now and I want to do a full video on how it has literally changed my life already but enough of that. I actually haven't spoken to you today. This is the first time I'm speaking to you, but I'm home from work now. I do work an eight to five in office job. So as you saw this morning, I am starting a new routine, kind of. For the past few years or ever since I've worked full time out of college, so this year would actually be four years, which is crazy. I have always been a morning workout person and I even was in college. I would just prefer to get to the gym at like 7 and work out before I go to work or go to class. But it's been a few months since I have gotten up early and done weight training or weight lifting in the mornings because I injured my knee and my shoulder at the same time. Last year I've just been giving them a few months to heal and recover um, and I've just been doing like light walks in the evening but I'm ready to get back into weightlifting because I truly love it and it brings me so much joy. This week we're going to be waking up at 5 30 every morning and getting back into our schedule of working out in the morning before going to work and I thought that I would film it to see how I guess my mood and my energy levels change because I did find that whenever I was working out in the mornings the past few years I had way more energy throughout the day and that was definitely the case for today. I used the Alive app that was created by Whitney Simmons for all of my weight training. And then if I want to do any cardio days, I might do cardio on the app. But I also love the Grow With Joe workouts on YouTube. I used her a lot after I injured my knee and my shoulder because they're very low impact. And I wouldn't say easy workouts, but they're easier on your body and your joints than lifting weights would be. So... If you're new to working out and you're trying to get like into the swing of things or you want to lose weight, I would definitely recommend Grow With Joe or the Live App by Whitney Simmons. But I just wanted to intro the vlog, let you know kind of what the video is going to be about, what all is going on. Like I mentioned, I got home a couple minutes ago. It's exactly 5.30 right now and I kind of want to just sit and decompress for a little bit before I start making dinner. Tonight's dinner, I'm going to be making a turkey bolognese pasta that is Whole30, and I'm actually going to be filming it for Instagram, so go check my Instagram if you want to see the recipe. I am going to sit down on the couch and read for a few minutes, probably like 30 minutes before I start making dinner, around like 6 o'clock. I have just finished making dinner. I actually made turkey bolognese pasta for dinner. You can just tell by looking at it, it looks so good. I use the Hearts of Palm linguine shaped pasta for all of my pasta that I'm eating on Whole30 and then when I wasn't doing Whole30 I really liked using brown rice pasta as like a gluten-free alternative um, by the Tenkiata brand 
They have it at like Target, Walmart, and Harps. But I make this pasta recipe probably once every single week, or I know that I make it once every single week because it's just so easy and good. And it also has vegetables in it. So this actually has carrots and celery in it. I'll leave the recipe link down below that I use. Um, it's by Kayla's Kitchen Fix. I love all of her recipes. I've made several. But I just filmed a short on how to make this. So it'll go up on my Instagram and probably a YouTube short as well. So you can go to my shorts page or my Instagram to look for this recipe if you're interested in making it. It's a little while later and I have this towel wrap on because I just got out of the shower. But I'm about to get in bed and read my book for a little bit before I go to sleep. And I wanted to give you a tip on ways that... It'll make it easier for you to wake up early in the mornings or start a new routine. And one of those is prepping the night before for the day ahead. So tomorrow I have an incredibly busy work day. I know that I'll be walking a lot. I'll be walking outside. So I need to wear something comfortable tomorrow. And whenever I'm waking up at 5.30, the last thing that I want to do is get together both a workout outfit and a work day outfit and try to put everything together within a span of like five minutes so i already have my clothes set out for tomorrow here i have my gym outfit that has my sports bra underwear socks shorts and t-shirt tomorrow is leg day and then here i have my work outfit so i have my bra and underwear my socks a light sweater and jeans and that way in the morning i don't have to think about what i'm going to wear i'm going to set these right here on top of my suitcase that always lives here that way i can just grab them and throw them down in the morning. Hello you guys, it is time for dinner. I thought that I got cauliflower rice in our weekly grocery pickup, like riced cauliflower frozen, but I guess I did not. So I just had to run to the store and pick up some riced cauliflower for dinner tonight. Tonight I'm making a cauliflower fried rice. It's very like easy and simple and healthy. Um, obviously Whole30 since I'm still doing Whole30. This recipe that I'm using um, doesn't call for any meat, but I'm just using chicken for more protein. So I'm going to show you everything that you'll need to make this real quick. It is very affordable because most of the items are frozen and there's not very many ingredients. So it says to use half a cup of peas and then half a cup of diced carrots. So you could also just get a bag of frozen peas and carrots like I have. And this was around like $2.50 at Target. I got two bags of rice cauliflower because I want to make enough to have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. You'll need two eggs. These are optional, but I love green onions, so I just got this bag of green onions from Target. Also some coconut aminos or soy sauce if you prefer soy sauce, but you can't have soy on Whole30. And I actually prefer the taste of coconut aminos way more than soy sauce. And then it also calls for sesame oil, but I think you could just get away with using olive oil or avocado oil. We um, have this toasted sesame oil, and it gives just a nice, like, nutty flavor. And then for your spices, you'll just use salt, garlic powder, and pepper. So those are all the ingredients that you'll need. And this is also like a one pan recipe, so you don't have to dirty multiple dishes. The first step that we're going to do is start with putting our cauliflower rice in the microwave to cook. 
you'll just follow the directions on the back of your bag. Um, so it says the wave face down in microwave and microwave on high for five to six minutes. So each bag I'm gonna do for five minutes. For cooking the chicken, I'm just going to add some olive oil to my cast iron and turn it up to, I'd say like medium high, so four and a half on my skillet. I'm gonna let that get warm and then we'll add the chicken in and cook it before we do anything else. guys today is actually Thursday evening I think I last talked to you around sometime Tuesday afternoon or evening while I was cooking dinner unfortunately not from my own cooking I got food poisoning Tuesday night from an orange that had gone bad that was sitting I guess in direct sunlight and when I ate it it didn't smell or taste funky but I did some research online and essentially I got food poisoning from an orange that I ate I quite literally thought that I was going to die Tuesday night. The pain was so horrendous. I had never experienced food poisoning like that ever before. Yesterday I was still feeling pretty sick, but I did go to work. I didn't work out in the morning because I had food poisoning the night before and I was, I took it as a rest day because I was feeling so terrible, but I went to work. I ended up leaving work early around 2.30 yesterday because I was running a fever and still feeling incredibly sick. So last night, um, or yesterday, I came home early from work and then I didn't end up eating really anything for dinner because I was still feeling really sick. I did get some Sprite Zeros and I drank one of those to help calm my stomach and it did help. And then I ate just some of the Siete like sea salt tortilla chips. I just had a handful for kind of like some crackers when you're sick. I was needing something that was kind of like salty and crackerish, so I ate a couple of those and then I went to bed pretty early. And now we are here today, Thursday. I did work out this morning as you saw. It was one of my favorite back and biceps. I love training upper body, especially my shoulders, biceps, and back. I wanted this week to be a week of workouts and what I eat, but Food poisoning, I couldn't predict that one. It wasn't in the cards for this week, but that's just how life is. We have to take it and roll with it. I am feeling a hundred times better today than I was even yesterday. So I have a lot more energy. And tonight for dinner, we're actually gonna be making ground turkey tacos. I made these tacos last week. Very, very simple and easy. I just combined some chopped bell peppers and ground turkey on the stove top and a skillet, mix it all up and cook it together, and then throw it in some tiete tortilla shells. And the guacamole is really the star of the show. I have orange, one orange and one red bell pepper here, just sauteing in the pan with some salt, olive oil, and pepper. Just like a little bit, it really doesn't even need seasoning at all. 
And I'm kind of just cooking this on medium heat until the bell peppers are softened. And once the bell peppers are softened, I'm going to go ahead and add in my ground turkey. I just have the, I believe it was, 93% lean, 7% fat. That's just personally the ratio that I like best. Um, and I'm just going to combine it in with the bell peppers once those are softened and done cooking. And for the taco shelves, like I mentioned, I use the Siete brand. And this is just what they look like. They are grain-free taco shells with avocado oil. We tried these for the first time last week. And I actually prefer them over regular like corn taco shells because they did not fall apart at all. You just heat these up in the oven. Just follow the instructions on the back for a couple minutes. And not one of the tacos cracked. So, like they stayed together the entire time you were eating them. So that was pretty amazing. These are the chips I was talking about that I munched on last night. Um, kind of as like a cracker. Uh, but I'm going to have these with some guacamole tonight. I've actually found a guacamole recipe that is my absolute favorite. It is from Half Baked Harvest. And she actually calls it her green goddess avocado sauce or something like that. I can leave it linked down below. But... I don't know if you would call this a necessity for me it is definitely worth the money that I spent because I've used it so much I have this ninja I think it's called the Express Chopper I bought this for $20 and it's pretty large I was surprised it was only $20 especially being ninja but if you want to make some good guacamole or you want something to be really creamy you want like a creamy sauce or a dip for chips this little $20 piece of equipment is actually incredible. Before, whenever I was making guacamole, I would literally sit there and like smash the avocado with a fork in the bowl. And that's fine, but my wrist would get super tired and I felt like I couldn't combine it as well as I would like it. So I invested in this and this is what I single-handedly use to make my guacamole because it makes it in like 0.5 seconds. You just throw all of the ingredients into this container and you press down this button to chop it and it literally does it in like five seconds. It's so easy. I would highly recommend purchasing this if you're in need of a good chopper or want something easy to make your guacamole because it was only $20 which I feel like is a good deal. It also comes with this lid on top and I actually can close it and store like leftover guacamole in here without needing to transfer it to another tub. So it's kind of like storage as well. I really love it. It's really amazing. Here are the finished tacos. They might not look the prettiest, but they do taste really, really good. And I'm just going to have some of the Siete chips with guacamole on the side. But this is what we're going to be having for dinner tonight. It is super filling and very healthy. It's a nice, healthy Whole30 take on just regular tacos. Friday and we just went and picked up dinner from Chipotle. This has kind of become our Friday like I wouldn't say tradition but our Friday night thing that we've been doing every week is going and getting Chipotle because if you don't know they have a lifestyle bowl that is Whole30 compliant. It's basically just a bed of lettuce with 
tomato salsa, chicken, and guacamole on top. And I always get an extra side of guacamole because I feel like they don't give you a whole lot of food in that bowl. And we did go to Target because with that extra little side of guacamole, I got some of these Siete lime tortilla chips that are Whole30 compliant. And then tonight we're probably just gonna hang out and watch movies on the couch. And I wanted like a movie or late night like snack. And so I got these Whole30 compliant um, sea salt and vinegar potato chips from the Siete brand. We also tried the Chipotle barbecue. We already opened the bag and these are really, really good. I hadn't had these before, but we tried them tonight and I do like them. But you did see that I did a leg workout this morning. So in total, Monday through Friday, I've done four workouts this week and cook dinner four nights this week. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed seeing what a week of workouts and a week of dinner recipes looks like. And I will just see you in the next one. Bye guys.